because I love all the things I do. And so I kind of found that the connector between all of my extracurriculars is really people. More specifically, like making people happy and bettering the lives of others and helping wherever I can. I'm a sophomore in arts and sciences studying English and religious studies with a minor in Near Eastern studies and I'm involved on campus with quite a few different extracurriculars. I work at the Johnson Museum of Art um, and I'm also a manager for the Cornell Varsity football team. I co-president Best Buddies where individuals with intellectual developmental disabilities partner with students on campus and I also have a small business. I love working for the football team. I've made a lot of really, really close friends through that program. I'm one of about 20 regular student managers. We set up practice, we tear down practice. I film a lot in the sort of press box area. I have 5 a.m. practices in the spring, and then in the fall we're there every practice, every day, and then we travel to games with them too. And it's just a really cool thing to be part of, to be on the sideline, like really representing the big red. Like it just makes me feel really connected. I was super involved as an athlete in high school, and so being able to still like be a part of the Cornell Athletics Department really is just like something near and dear to my heart. And then on the complete opposite flip side of that, um, the Johnson Museum has been really supportive and just Cornell as a whole has been really supportive of my excitement for art. We're all at Cornell to learn and come away with a degree. And I'm not sure what I wanna do with those degrees, which is a really tough spot to be in because we're surrounded by a lot of people who've known exactly what they wanna do for a long time. And part of being at the Johnson opened up this door of like a curatorial work and education and just kind of a combination of all these things that I love. And so as a Bartell Scholar, I'll be staying here during the summer and having the opportunity to work with the education department and potentially on a personal research project. Art was just sort of a hobby, a pastime, something that brought me joy. And Cornell has kind of taken that hobby and passion of mine and run with it. And then that's where the small business element comes in. Completely by chance this fall, I was sketching on the slope posted it on my Instagram story just for fun. And there was a really, really quick, almost immediate positive response from my friends and my family. I created an Instagram account for my artwork and it started as just buildings that I thought were pretty. And then it slowly became like more personalized requests of like, for example, old hockey players that want line of rink, things like that. And then that sort of sparked where I am now. And it's nice that that's now like a form of income and it is a huge confidence builder. I, I feel much more capable of handling professional situations based on the plethora of customer interactions I've been able to live and learn from. I have no long-term plans, just hopes. And as long as people are enjoying it, I'll keep doing it. I am inspired by the reaction of people to what I'm doing. So when I see that my art is making someone happy, or when I hear like an athlete say thank you for everything you do, or when I'm at the Johnson and someone says like thank you so much for your help, that's really just like what pushes me to keep going because knowing that I'm helping make someone else's day better is what makes my day better.